Welcome to the data loading video tutorial. Today I'll be taking you through our new data loading wizard. This wizard is a streamlined processing tool to help you organize your data in a way that makes the most sense for your experimental design. Whenever you open our scaffold software suite, this welcome screen will be the first window that the program displays. From here, you can start a new experiment, open an existing SF3 or SFD file, try out some of our demo data, or cancel. Click New to begin loading your data. The first step in organizing your data is telling the program what kind of experiment you want to load. Note that if you purchased Scaffold, you will move on to the next step without seeing the screen, and Scaffold Q Plus will display all of these options except for Stable Isotope Labeling Multiplex. This is where you begin creating your experimental design. The dataset I have prepared is a basic spectrum counting experiment with data from both the mascot and sequest search engines. Spectrum counting is the default option already chosen, so I'll go ahead and click Next. Here is where you can use your own naming conventions to describe the biological significance of each sample. My experiment has a control sample and two trials, so I'm going to group them into two categories, control and trials. Let's get the control sample set up first. Now we can start queuing the control bio sample. This step allows you to organize your data even before loading it into the program in order to streamline the process. Click Queue Files for Loading to start browsing for your data. I have my control data already labeled in a structured directory, so now I can select the entire folder with the files inside of it and put it into the queue. For more information about loading specific file types, visit the product documentation section of our website. Now that we've queued all the data for the control bio sample, click Next so we can get the trial samples ready. Click Add another bio sample to begin queuing the next iterations of samples. Once all your data has been queued, click to the last step of the data loading wizard. Here is where you can tell Scaffold exactly how you want the program to load your data. For specific details on each of these options, check our built-in help, or check our online resources. I already have the appropriate database for this dataset loaded into Scaffold, but if you want to load a new database, click the Add New Database button. This will bring up a separate window where you can edit existing databases or bring in new databases to search against. For my experiment, I want to use the new LFDR scoring system for my data. Another video will explain the new LFDR scoring system and other FDR features in greater detail, but if you wish to continue using the legacy peptide profit scoring system, you can select that option instead. Also of note is the new protein grouping option, the protein cluster analysis grouping method. This method will also be explained in another video but a quick overview is that Scaffold will group proteins into clusters if their joint weighted peptide evidence is at least half of the weighted peptide evidence of either protein. Last, I don't want to annotate my proteins for Go terms, so I'm going to keep Don't Annotate selected. Now we're ready to load our data. Click Load Data at the bottom of the screen here to begin loading. <laughs> 